We see with our hearts and love with our eyes. In a 2020 prison, lusting over a prize. Fighter in disguise. What's going on, y'all? Mad Dad 316 here. Coming to you back from the Mad Den with the No Money Mad Men here to talk about Madden 20. How y'all doing today? Happy Sunday. I hope your day is going well. I hope your weekend is going well. Last weekend without weekend league for a while, so you better be enjoying it. Those late nights, those early mornings, those grinds. Continue it on. So for today, guys, I'm going to talk about a little bit about what we can do to help get our team ready for that weekend league. And that's going to be how you can pick up some free players and how you can pick up some training to get your, your players powered up. So they did tweet out earlier today. I don't know if you guys saw it, but you need to do your ultimate, I mean, I'm sorry, ultimate, your legend solos today or tomorrow by 10 a.m. Eastern to get your the limited solo. So the Jan Stenerud, the Dan Deardorff, the John Randall, and the... Um, Oh, I'm sorry. The Jan Stanerud, the Ray guy, the John Randall, the Dan Deardorff, you need to do these or they go away in the next 24 hours, basically. So once you do these, you get the power up for free. And basically, you can train, for 1,800 training, you can power them all the way up to their top tier. So you can get four legends here for just doing the solos, and that's about 1,800 training apiece, which and what is that about a, it's an 87, so 87 go for on 80k a piece. So for 80k a piece, you can get yourself four legends that are going to have great stats. So that's a good method to get right away uh, right, away right now. So also, um, I hear a lot of people talking about what's the best way to get training right now, guys. What's the, what's the move on training? Especially since the theme builders, these legends, so many players require training right now. And training is so expensive compared to last year right now. So, the best bets I've seen so far, and these are given out to me by other people, Chata and Nathaniel, the 84s that are going for between 20 and 25k, that's a snipe. If you sit there for a second, you could snipe some, 80, uh, some 84s for around 20 to 25k. That's a great move for training. The 88s, they go anywhere from around 10, from 100 to 110. Again, you're doing great right there. Between 100 to 110k, snipe those 88s. The 90s, anything under 200K. If you can get a 90 under 200K, that's a great deal. And you sit there for a second, and it's legends are the best ones to do, guys. So filter out legends, 84 to 85s, 88 to 89s, and 90 91. And just go back and forth between those three. You will be able to snipe yourself some training there, guys, and, and knock out some, you know, some of those legends that you want to get or, or some of those theme builders that you get. I know a lot of people are talking about the theme builder solos and there are 16 of them and it takes so long to eat, get each player. But you're saving yourself, I mean, if you do the math here, you're saving yourself around 90 to 100K per solo to get these, these players done. So if you divide 100 by 16, that's around a 6.5, close to it's about 6.5K per solo. So that's not bad to do. I mean, if you look at it that way, you're doing 6.5K per solo and it's not that much you know, that's, that's a lot of coin. It's one you get for winning a game, a head-to-head -head game online. So, it's not that. I know it takes a long time, but pick the ones you want and knock them out. I'm going to be knocking on Darius Slay next. That's an expensive one to do. Uh, Miles Garrett's an expensive one to do. Tariq Cohen's an expensive one to do. And George Kittle. Those four, I definitely recommend knocking those out. And then you can pick and choose from there what, where you want to go. I went out last night and got and sniped some training. And... Um, I was able to power up a couple of my guys here, and I'm gonna let you guys know um, some 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 players I got on my team right now that I feel are great budget beasts. So again, let me get my face out of here so you guys can see this real quick. Oh, there's that El Gato sign again. All right. So as you can see, Baker Mayfield, store quarterback. I need fullbacks right now. I mean, they're very expensive for for someone I probably won't keep on my team, so I'm not really stressing on the fullback. This Tory Holt will get there with levels. I'm gonna power him up with train to a 91, and he's got, so my receivers are set. Knocked out the George Kittle theme builder. Knocked out the Marcus Gilbert theme builder. Gonna hold on to Brandon Shore for a while. Just need to get the top tier for Alex Mack and the top tier for Trent Williams. So I'm sitting fine on this line. This line plays really good, have had no complaints. Tariq Cohen and Jim Brown, good enough for me. Thunder and lightning, thunder and lightning. Now there's Eddie Jackson. I know a lot of people got Earl Thomas. I know that um, there's some other great safeties in the game, but 
he's doing good, man. 80 speed, 82 acceleration. You know, his zone coverage is already at 88. You know, his next upgrade, he'll have over 90 zone coverage. And, you know, so he, he plays really well. He's got some good hit power and some good play recognition. So I'm sticking with this Eddie Jackson as far as safety. This Ken Houston's powered all the way up without an ultimate. And look at his stats. Without, this is without his left. This was just training. 87 speed. 85 excel. 84 zone. You know, 74 man, 82 hit power. This Ken Houston, six foot three, he plays like a monster. So I definitely recommend picking him up. Got my Ryan Kerrigan here, all the way powered up. You can tell his stats. They're nothing phenomenal. Look at, he's a great pass rusher though. Got that 80 strength with the Redskins cam so far. I think I got 15 out of 50 so far. With my slowly creeping up on my Redskins. Bobby Wagner still waiting on his top card. Demario Davis. I'm thinking about getting rid of this Luke Kukli and doing myself CJ Mosley. I can probably swap him out for just selling him and getting the training as well. Miles Garrett powered up and Danielle Hunter. These are, or Danielle Hunter. These are great ends to have. I think they're the fastest ones in the game right now. So I would definitely think about picking these up. Still need Lattimore's power up. and Still need Kawan Short's power up. And I am going to be knocking out Darius Slay. This Denzel Ward though should not be laughed at guys. Check out his stats here when he's powered up. Compared to Lattimore, same speed, one less excel, more agility, one less jump, three less play recognition, two less man, and three less zone. And that, that's just his first card. So Denzel gets his next card's gonna be over 90 speed, I'm assuring you that. So I wanna pick up this Denzel War before he gets ridiculously expensive. So there's a lot of things you guys can do right now as far as I pop my face in here. Oh, there I am. You can pop my, uh, pop my face back. You guys can get training. You guys can get those legends. But you need to knock out those legend solos by tomorrow. Now, I hear some people talking about how they can make coins. What a good coin method to make it. So, first step is going to be you're going to need to get some training. So, like I said earlier in the video, those are the training prices you want to try to get. Of course, anything below that is a great snipe. I would totally take advantage of that. But, what am I doing? Okay, oh, it's a crazy little side. Oh. Um. Let me show you something real quick. I'm taking this from Gut Fox. This is definitely not mine. Once you get a lot of training, let's say you have around 2,000 training, or any amount of training, you can build coins from there. What you do is you go to the store, and again, this is not mine. I got this from Gut Fox. And you get this, see this right here, the 60 training for the 70, 78? The 77 sell for 53 training. The 78 sell for 64 training. What you do is you buy this, you sell the 77s for 35 to 3600, and they sell pretty quickly for an hour. Put them for an hour, 35 to 36. Training value on a 77 is about 2200. So you're making 1300 more for training value than what these cards are going for, for on the auction block. So what you do is you just buy these, you quick sell the 78s back for more training, and you put the 77s back up on the market for 3600. Do this over and over again. It takes time, and it's a very passive way, as, as Gut Fox put it, to get coins. But it slowly builds you up. I was able to build myself up about 200,000 coins yesterday doing this, just slowly. And I was able to get a lot of those players that you see uh, that you see me get. So I have a couple more upgrades I want to do before weekend league. But this method really helped me get some of those ways out, guys. So you guys have some things to do. I would knock out those legends, get those full. Because anything you can sell those power ups for more. Because those powers are at least 10k each for those legends, so you're gonna get around 40k from just doing those four solos. Don't be scared of the training. The ultimate trainers, I mean the yeah, the ultimate trainers, or the theme. I mean, I'm sorry, the theme builder. Don't be scared of the theme builder solos. Like I broke it down for you. It's about you know you're getting about 5,000 a solo if you think about it. I take that. I'll take that. It does take a while, but pick and choose wisely, wisely, wisely. And also, like I said, there's ways to make coins using that training. The 84 to 85s, get it between 20 to 25. The 88s to 89s, if you can get them anywhere around 100K, that you're great. And the 90s, you want to get below 200K. Those are the best training options you guys can do right now. And what you do with that training, whether it's build up some theme builders or use them to make some coins like I showed you right here, it's up to you. But just, you got some ways to grind right now from our no money spent soldiers. And Mad Dad 316 is out.